Hi, I'm JD, and what I'm going to show you is how to add like terms. So let's say that you have a pineapple and an orange and another orange. So if I have a pineapple, an orange, and another orange, how many oranges do I have? Or what do I have? Yeah, what do I have? Well, besides a nice smoothie, well, I guess I would need a blender or a high powered fan, that would be helpful. But what do I have? I have two oranges and a pineapple, right? Two oranges and a pineapple. So what's an orange? plus an orange plus a pineapple. Two oranges and, right, sometimes the plus sign is and, and A pineapple. Now, why show all this? Well, it's because if I have x plus x plus y, when you're adding like terms, like here, you can only combine oranges with oranges and pineapples with pineapples because, well, you don't have a blender. And most importantly, you don't know what these variables are, so you can't combine them together different ones. However, if they are the same, an orange plus another orange gives you two oranges, so that would be 2x. And since you can't add these y's and x's together because they have to be exactly the same, it would just be plus why? Now, let's look at something more complicated. Let's say that I have x plus x squared plus y plus 3y. Now, think about this as your units you know, with with tiles and square units, right? You buy like a little piece of carpet or whatever, it's in square yards. X would be like a length, it's just one dimensional, it's flat, so it would just be yards. Can you combine yards with square yards? No, certainly not. So you have to leave these guys the same. But what's a Y plus three Y? And that's a plus might be hard to see. You just leave these the same, so it would be x plus x squared plus, now it's implied, like an orange, right? I didn't say that there's one orange, but there's an orange. That's implied that there's one in front of the variable. So that's 1y plus 3y that gives you 4y. And subtracting and adding like terms is the same thing. If you're adding, you take the coefficients and numbers in front of the term, and it has to be exactly the same when you're combining them. You add them together. If you're subtracting, you subtract the coefficients. Coefficient just simply means number in front of the term. And it could be like a group of variables, it could be square root of 2, square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 equals 2 square root of 2, right? Because you're just keeping the term the same. So that's a little side note, but you might see that later. Don't worry about it now. Just realize that what you're doing is you're simply just adding like terms. And that is it.